Hi everyone, today, April 11th, is tornado drill day in many states, including mine, Minnesota. And it's a day where we practice what we would do if the tornado sirens in our area goes off. And they go off twice, once in the uh, morning and once in the evening, so that you can practice, maybe at school, and maybe at home, what you would do if you hear a tornado warning. And they can seem really loud and a little bit unnerving, but the more you understand and learn about something, the less scary it can be. So I have a book for us today called The Sky Stirs Up Trouble, Tornadoes. It's part of the Bell the Weather Girl series, and it's written by Belinda Jensen, who is a meteorologist, and illustrated by Renee Curulia. And it's going to teach us about tornadoes and tornado preparedness. Starting off, we have our table of contents. It tells us which page each topic will be on. Chapter one, tornado warning. Tornado siren, called out Belle's mom. Quick, everyone downstairs. That's the safest place in this house. Belle and her cousin Dylan hurried to the basement. Tornadoes are high spin speed spinning winds. They form during very large thunderstorms. Most places have a siren system to sound tornado warnings. So there they are in the basement and they've got their emergency kit with them. I'm scared, said Dylan. Is the house going to blow away? Don't worry. Belle stood up and patted her dog Stormy. The siren is just a, was just a warning. It doesn't mean a tornado is actually going to hit us. It's a warning to tell you to get prepared and move to safety just in case. After half an hour, Belle's mom said, good news, no tornado after all. The weather website says the warning is over. The storm has moved away. We can go back upstairs. It says this tornado little uh, image says, go to a safe place during a tornado warning. Basements are a good choice. If you don't have a basement, Go to a room with no windows or the bathroom. You can even cover yourself with pillows in the bathtub. You want to be away from windows to protect yourself from broken uh, glass or debris if there is a tornado. I don't have a basement where I live, so that's what I do. I go to a bathroom. What about you? Do you know where you go in a tornado? It's a good time to talk about it. Belle said, Mom, can we make a tornado cake with Dylan. That's how you taught me about tornadoes. Weather isn't so scary once you understand it. Chapter two, the perfect ingredients. A cake, said Dylan. I am hungry. Or is this a Belle the Weather Girl thing? Can we eat this cake or does it just spin around? Belle's mom laughed. Tornado cake is a real cake. I have the recipe here. I'll get out the ingredients and you two can measure them. And this says the United States has more tornadoes than any other country. Yeah, there's a part of the United States called Tornado Alley that has just the right mixture of weather and landscape to create a lot of tornadoes, more than other places. So it sounds like they're gonna make a tornado cake. I'm interested to hear what that's gonna be about. Belle said, a tornado cake needs the perfect ingredients, otherwise it won't turn out right. Tornadoes are the same way. Dylan looked outside. The sky was clearing. Hey, is that why we didn't have a tornado today? The storm didn't have the perfect ingredients? So here they are getting out some cake ingredients like sugar and flour and eggs. Right, said Belle, a tornado needs warm air, cold air, water, and big winds. She grabbed the sugar. How would our cake taste if we left this out? Yuck, answered Dylan. So here she made a little list of tornado ingredients. Warm air, cold air, water, and wind. Belle laughed. Leave out one important ingredient and the cake doesn't work. That's true for tornadoes too. 
So if you don't have all four of those things, you cannot have a tornado. <clears throat> Belle added sugar to the butter that Dylan had put in the bowl. She handed Dylan a spoon. Stir them together. It takes a lot of energy, right? The perfect tornado ingredients only mix during big energy storms. So it's a lot of work. It says Tornado Alley. Tornadoes have happened in all 50 states. Tornado Alley is an area with many tornadoes. It's in the middle of the United States. Cold northern air and warm southern air often mix here. So this says jet stream, cold dry air from the north, warm moist air from the south, create warm dry air in this little section called Tornado Alley. And that's where tornadoes happen most frequently, but they can happen in other places. Chapter three, giant vacuums. Sometimes the tornado ingredients do mix, Belle said. Then the storm starts spinning that makes a funnel cloud. She pulled something out of a kitchen drawer. This is what a funnel looks like. So that's a tornado, asked Dylan? That's called a funnel, which is the shape of a tornado. Not exactly. Funnel clouds only turn into tornadoes if they it turn into tornadoes if they touch the ground. Lots of funnel clouds never do, said Belle. It sure looks like a tornado hit in here, Belle's mom said. Let's clean up while the cake bakes. Belle pulled out the vacuum cleaner. So into this funnel we have going into this funnel. Butter, eggs, flour, and sugar, because they're making a cake, but into a tornado funnel, you have warm air, cold air, wind, and water. The strongest tornadoes may reach wind speeds of 300 miles per hour. They can move large objects like trucks. They're very strong. Tornadoes suck up things like giant vacuums, said Belle. That's why we find a safe place during the warnings. We want to be out of the way if the tornado ingredients mix. Meteorologists announce warnings when tornadoes could be nearby. Sirens sound an alert. Tornado warnings sometimes end with no touch tornado touchdown. But take cover every time you hear the sirens, just in case. So it's better to be prepared and wrong than to not be prepared at all. Chapter four, time for tornado cake. Dylan ate his last bite of cake. I'm glad the ingredients were right and that the tornado ingredients were wrong. Let's take the cake downstairs the next time there's a warning. Good plan, said Belle, and stay tuned for tomorrow because every day is another weather day. So they got to enjoy their tornado cake without a tornado. And here they've included a recipe for you to make your own tornado cake. And there's the ingredients and direction. And then here's a glossary of the word terms discussed in the book. And other books and websites you can visit to learn more about tornadoes. And here's an index which tells you which page to find a topic that you're looking for. I thought this was a good book because it reminds us that tornadoes need a lot to happen. They need just the right combination of things. They don't, and if one of those things, just one of them is missing, you won't have a tornado. So even though big weather can feel really scary, more often than not, there is a tornado, but it's always good to be prepared and have a plan just in case so you stay safe. Even if the perfect ingredients do come together and there is a tornado, you know what to do and you have a plan. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for reading and learning with me today. See you soon.